I'm Megan O'Leavy, he's Brett Okamoto, and we are talking about Jose Aldo versus Rob Font. Currently, Brett, as we film this, they're ranked number four and number five at 135 pounds, both coming off impressive wins. Rob Font, man, at one point when he beat Cody Garbrandt, a lot were saying he could be fighting for the title next. Do you like this matchup with Jose Aldo? Uh, of course. I, I love this fight. I, <laughs> I, mean, felt is, like, I felt like you paused. <laughs> from a stylistic standpoint, this is a very, very fun fight. Of course, it makes sense from the rankings. You know, Rob Font was one of those guys, man. I, I want to take a little bit of credit. I was on the Rob Font hype train before everybody else got oh, on Oh, yeah. There. No, he, I, I, I really just enjoy everyone. watching this guy fight. He's always, his boxing is just very, very, very fun to watch. And now, you know, we are all familiar with it because of the win streak he's been on. But he did have some hiccups, right? 2016, 2017, 2018, whenever he kind of took up took that next step up against some of, you know, I hate to use this word, but some of the gatekeepers of the division. Some of those guys were like, hey, Rob Font's got to beat this guy if he wants to be in title contention. He came up short. Three times that happened. And so when, when it happens three times in a span of three years, you start to say, well, maybe this guy's just not a title contender. Right. But a lot of credit to Rob Font, a lot of credit to his team. Uh, his confidence level is through the charts. You know, you're facing Jose Aldo, who, yes, is not n maybe in the prime of his career anymore, but still a very dangerous guy. He can be intimidating. I don't think Rob Font is going to be intimidated by him at all. And I think we're going to see a great fight because both these guys really love to box. They have sharp, crisp boxing. Um, it's going to be a fun fight to watch. You, you mentioned Jose Aldo, and you say maybe he's not in the prime of his career, but I think <clears throat> Jose Aldo, I mean, he's showing he can compete, uh, you know, at any age in any division against anyone. He wants to make another run for the title. He's made that very clear. I'm competing to continue to climb back to a shot at that gold belt. Um, he is always one of our favorites to watch. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the stylistic matchup, how important is this kickboxing here and his grappling that we don't often get to see? Yeah, I mean, we've been saying that about Jose for years, is why doesn't he use his best weapon anymore? Why doesn't he throw more kicks and um, it'll be interesting to see if, if he does so with this I mean this isn't a matchup where you would necessarily think he's gonna be super worried about Rob Font wrestling him I mean of course Rob Font could go that route sure. but um, it might open up him his ability to throw some more kicks but Jose is in a, in a weird spot man I mean you don't want to put you don't want to say that hey you know he, this is his last chance we just saw Glover Teixeira win a belt exactly uh, at, at age 40 but Aldo's in that weird situation where he fought the champ Piotr I'm sorry Piotr Jan is not the champ he's one of the champs right. the interim, interim champ, champ. Um, but as long as Piotr is kind of there it, it kind of creates this roadblock for, for, for Jose because the fight was decisive. You know, it, it wasn't a, any type of controversy. So he needs to be perfect. He needs to win these types of fights. So he's going to come in with uh, some pressure, but that's nothing new to him. I mean, this guy's fought on the biggest stage throughout his entire career. Exactly, exactly. He's used to high-pressure situations. But when you look at the entire landscape of the division they're competing in, 135 pounds, you mentioned we have an intern champ. We have a champion that's currently injured. We have a lot of contenders. Does this necessarily fall next in line in your mind? Uh, no, because you got TJ Dillashaw out mm, there, but, and, and that's that's why this fight is so important for both guys. I mean, you you feel for Rob Font because you know he was right there with Corey Sandhagen to get that interim shot. wasn't really in a position to take that fight against Piotr Jan for the vacant interim belt. Um, but what it means is that that there's not a lot of open spots right now, right? I mean, we're waiting for Aljamain, we're waiting for Jan, we're waiting for that fight, right? And then TJ Dillashaw is waiting after that. Right. And so you're looking down the down the road. It's like, and. There's not a, an open title slot here for a while, so you got to be perfect. you got to win these fights because any type of setback is going to set you back quite a ways. No, absolutely. We will see what happens at 135 pounds. That's a great matchup. That's your main event on December 4th right here in Las Vegas. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.